Hey you guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing my nighttime skincare routine and I cannot tell you the last time I actually did a skincare routine on my channel. So this is gonna be it today. We're gonna be doing getting unready. I'm getting ready for bed right now. It's actually eight o'clock at night. Uh, so I will be going to bed after this, but pretty much how I take off my makeup and then my skincare after that. And I'm a little bit nervous filming this video because Susan from Mixed Makeup is actually gonna be reacting to my skincare routine, what she likes, what she thinks I could improve on, what she doesn't like. So I'm sure you guys have seen her videos before where she reacts to people's skincare routines, breaks them down, pauses the video, and kind of goes deep into detail about the products they're using, the techniques that they're using. I'm a little bit nervous. I gotta watch what I say here, but I'm excited because I feel like this is gonna be a really good learning experience for me. Hopefully you guys too, because uh, when I upload this video, Susan's gonna be uploading uh, her video as well on her channel, so make sure you guys go check it out. Step one for me is removing my makeup. Now, I chose to film this after I had a full face of makeup on. I don't have eye makeup, but I still have my waterproof mascara on and full face foundation set under eyes, the whole deal. So this is heavy makeup for me, even though I don't have a lot of makeup on. So what I like to use is a makeup removing oil. This is the Tatcha One Step Cleansing Oil. I've been using this one for a long time. I really like this one. I feel like for my waterproof mascara, it works incredibly well, but I just find this to be very easy. So I just take about two pumps of this into my hand and then I start typically on my under eyes because I feel like when I set, that's where it's like the most set. <laughs> And I'm just kind of like massaging the oil into my face, breaking up the makeup. I feel like skincare is very important. I actually want to like focus more on getting like, I don't know if I want facials this year or like I want to try micro stamping. It's like a version of micro needling. I really want to do that. I heard I'm a good candidate uh, for like large pores. Uh, I definitely want to just get my skincare routine dialed in this year. Go. Okay, so now once I feel like I've broken down all the makeup, I kind of just wiggle this into my lashes to get the waterproof mascara off. Now what I'm gonna do is just rinse off the oil with warm water off of my face. All right, just rinsed off the oil. My face is still wet. Uh, I like to cleanse right after I do that. And the cleanser that I've been using is from Tatcha. This is the Deep Cleanse. I've really been liking this one. This is a brand new one that I just opened. I just finished my last bottle. I've been using it for the past three months or so. I just really like the way it makes my face feel after I use it and I like Tatcha. So, this is the cleanser that I've been using and I take some of this, a little bit more water. Okay, makeup was coming through right here. I'm just saying <laughs> makeup was coming through. Video for that cover up is also up on my channel or it will be up on my channel, just saying when this comes out. So one thing I've noticed with skincare for me is it's all about what I put into my body. That has been the biggest factor in my skincare. Not only what I put into my body, meaning what I eat, but um, stress, sleep. If I'm not getting enough sleep, I tend to just look a little bit more dull, a little bit more tired. But if I, like for me, I know if I eat a lot of sugar or if I drink a lot of alcohol, my skin reacts pretty quickly to that. So I try to be as conscientious as possible of that. And I think if I massage this cleanser into my face anymore, it's gonna disappear. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash it off. Anyway, what I'm gonna use to take off my cleanser is this tiny microfiber towel. My mom actually gave this to me. She said it works really well to take off excess makeup. And I use this, I also use the face halos. I just have all these products in rotation. This is currently what's on the list for tonight. Oh my God, I gotta wash this off. Gotta wash this off. So then I just take this towel. I just lightly um, massaged my face with this in the sink. This just helps to get off any excess makeup. I've also pretty much completely stopped using makeup wipes. It is just kind of a lot of waste just to take off your makeup when you could do the same thing with other products. So I've gotten rid of makeup wipes. The only time I ever use them is typically when I'm doing my makeup for something in particular. All right, so now I'm just kind of uh, using this. This is kind of like exfoliates, but it does get off any excess makeup that I might have on my face. And now I'm gonna go ahead and rinse one more time. Got a clean towel here. Just gonna pat dry. I'm trying to be extra good knowing that uh, <laughs> she's gonna be watching my video. I'm not gonna lie, I'd probably be wiping my face a little bit more than this, but I'm trying to pat dry here. I like that that one makes my face feel clean, but without feeling stripped. Um, that's one thing that I do like about that cleanser. All right, next up, this is a product that I recently purchased. I've used seven or eight times so far. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel. 
I was using the Sanitas, I think they're the daily exfoliating pads. It just came in one container. Those helped clear up my clogged pores so much. I just recently ran out and I decided to try something new. They're pretty good. I gotta keep using them to see how I really feel about them, but I do love using a peel pad. Like I feel like peel pads definitely made a huge transformation in my skin in terms of texture because I do tend to get just like a lot of little bumps on my face and I don't know if it's from makeup or what? But the Sunitas pads were amazing. So I'm on to these ones now. You can let me know how you feel about these. I don't like the fact that they're in separate packages like this though, unfortunately. So you take this little pad here and you kind of massage it in all over your skin. Helps to lift away dead skin along with excess oils and impurities while improving the appearance of uneven skin tone and texture. They do zing a little bit. Uh, when I used the Sunitas one, it definitely took me like a week to get used to it. But once I did, my face just absolutely loved it. I always like to focus it right here. This is like where I get a lot of little bumps right here on my chin. I'm gonna get it. And then we have step two, which is the anti-aging neutralizer. So it's on the other side of this. And you wait two minutes after you do the exfoliating part and then you do this one. I will say that when I use a peel pad and my skin in the morning just feels tighter, it feels softer, it feels smoother, it feels a little bit brighter. I just, one of my favorite things for sure is using peel pads. I would be taking these steps down my neck but it's really hard to do on camera. So just know that I'm thinking about it but for these purposes, I'm not doing it. So now my skin is feeling nice and tingly, but like in a good way. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like it's really red right here in my mustache region. I love that for me right now. Um, anyway, uh, next step, I'm gonna be using my Vita C Serum. This one is from Sanitas. I do rotate between a few different vitamin C serums, the CeraVe one, the Summer Fridays one. I'm using this one currently. This one is an illuminating serum. You know, I used to be terrified terrified, terrified, terrified of putting anything that felt like an oil on my face. I feel like we all probably did, but I just don't think I ever would have done it, especially because I used to deal with like a lot of hormonal acne back in like my early mid twenties. I had a lot of challenges with my skin and I used to just put the harshest things I could find on my entire face. I think it ended up having a worse effect on my skin. It made my skin really dry, flaky, which I think made it also a little bit more oily, trying to repair what the damage that I was doing to it. I definitely went through a lot of cycles of doing that. I'm glad I'm not doing that anymore. Next up, I have my eye cream. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't use eye cream every single night, but when I do remember to use it, I use the Kiehl's Creamy Avocado Eye Treatment. So I take a little bit of this, actually that's a lot. And you know what? I don't ever recall my mustache ever getting so red before. But then again, maybe I've never been so well lit while doing a skincare routine. <laughs> so we're putting that on here. Anyway, back to uh, trying to zap your skin. I also used to do really, really intense spot treatments. Like basically kill it with fire was my idea and thought that I would work. And it wasn't until I actually burned my skin with spot treatment that I said, okay, you know what, let me go ahead and not do that anymore. So you'll see that I actually don't put spot treatment over here because I don't have one that I really like because I don't really like to dry it out because typically my breakouts are like deeper under the skin or they have been lately. So doing something that just dries it out doesn't really work when it's like a hormonal breakout or something that's more cystic or under the skin. So I tend to skip that. The one that I was using before, but I ran out and I noticed that they don't sell it anymore. They don't sell it at Sephora. It was from Belief and it was their tea tree oil. Do we hate tea tree oil now? Did that happen? I don't know, but that was the one spot treatment that I was using. I would just put a little dab of that on there. And I did feel like it helped without drying it out because that was one thing that kind of annoyed me with spot treatments is that it dries it out and makes your skin all like red and flaky. And I never really felt like it actually killed the breakout underneath it. So. I tend to skip doing that now uh, and I just try to hydrate <laughs> basically. I'm like, let me just hydrate my skin and hopefully that helps. All right, and my very last step in my skincare routine is moisturizing. Going back to Belief the True Cream Aqua Balm, this one right here. So I just opened this one back up. So I just like to press this in on top of the serum. And I forgot to mention in the beginning of this video, but my skin type is, I would say I'm probably more combination skin, but I do tend to have drier areas or more dehydrated skin from time to time. 
I feel like that is very um, weather specific. Like over the winter months, I feel like my skin is very dry. And then I do tend to get hormonal breakouts. So like this area here will pop up every once in a while. It happened to just pop up right before I filmed this video. So <laughs> we get to talk about that in this video. I feel good about this. Nice and pressed into the skin. I could really use some lip balm right now in a bad way. All right guys, so that is my nighttime skincare routine. That is everything that I do. <sighs> I hope I did a good job today. We will see. All right guys, so uh, Susan on Mixed Makeup will be reacting to this video, so make sure you guys go check that out. Hopefully I did okay. Hopefully I did everything in the right order. That's the one that gets me. I'm like, oh, did I do this in the right order? Thanks for watching. I hope you guys like my nighttime skincare routine and I will see you guys in the next video. The girls want to say goodnight. Zozo! She's naked. Where's her collar? She's ready for bed, dude. She's ready for bed. Say goodnight, Suni. I think they're nervous being in the bathroom. They're like, oh my god, am I gonna get a bath right now? Have you ever seen a dog more awkward when they're held? Say goodnight, Turby! <laughs> oh, I can't breathe. So, I'm very excited. Ah! What? You scared me, John! Got a little bit of oil on my contacts. That's always a gift. Okay, all right. So we're gonna get started here. I think we're just gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. All right. Wow. Am I too loud? You're very loud. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing a skincare routine today. Whoa. <laughs> today. <laughs>